What it do, what it do? I apologize for the wait. Let's jump right into season number two with the Jackson State Tigers. Our first game is going to be versus Southern. Then we got Florida Atlantic. Then Grambling State, Kansas, Oklahoma State. Again, I tried my best to appease everybody. Couldn't quite do it. I'm never able to, but I tried. Central Michigan, the Mississippi State, Notre Dame, Duke, Florida A&M has made a schedule ECU and then Alcorn State to finish things up. Virginia Tech, Michigan, Tennessee, LSU, USC, Florida, Texas, Auburn, Texas A&M, and Miami are the top 10 teams. Number 11 is Oklahoma, then Oregon, Maryland, UCLA, Ohio State, Penn State, NC State, Texas Tech, Nebraska, Iowa, your top 20 teams, 21 through 25, Kansas State, Florida State, Colorado, Fresno State, and Georgia Tech. We are ranked number 116. You can see that Florida Atlantic is below us, Southern is below us, and Alcorn State is below. So maybe that's three wins right there. I doubt that, though, because you never know what's going to happen in these games. Now, we have a whole bunch of freshmen, right? The freshmen are better than our upperclassmen at almost every position. Almost every position. Not all positions, but almost every position. So, we beat Southern last year in an epic battle. Can we do the same thing today? Will it be another epic battle? If Sam Jones, freshman receiver, if he has anything to say about it, it might be a blowout. Opening kickoff of the season is back to the crib. Number 12 in your program. Number one in your heart. Doing his thug fizzle. Respect his gangster. So, Neil, he's going to try to make something happen. And Neil just got pancake, baby. Second down and seven from the 23-yard line. Neil looking down. Phil throws the ball quickly. Broken up. I, hey, I like the way we playing so far, baby. We on the road, too. First two games of the season on the road. And then, okay. There they go. That was a big-time catch. That's a first down. Okay. Up the gut. They're going to run that football. They're going to pick up a solid game. I see a seven. I see you. Okay. Second down and four from the 45. Looking down. Field is Neil. Has time in the pocket. That pass is caught by Brooks, but holding. So, B, B, back it on up like a U-Haul truck. Second down and 14. That's going to be a big-time tackle by Nicholas Marshall, another freshman. All my linebackers, except for my impact linebacker right there, is a freshman. Aaron Jones. Is it Jones? No, Aaron. Aaron something. I'm, I'm going to figure out his name. I'm going to figure out his name. But my impact player on defense, outside linebacker, he is a junior first name, Aaron, last name, King. There it is, Aaron King. All right, Aaron King. Get to know him. He's a solid player, okay? My walk-on tight end is our other impact player on the offensive side of the ball, and we only have two so far. Somebody's going to step up and get that third impact designation, all right? All right, here we go. They have driven down the field, and they have almost scored defense. We need a goal line stand quick, fast, in a hurry. Neil looking down field. Get that thing up out of here. Second down to go from the one. Up that gut, and Young, the big fullback, crosses the goal line touch. Damn, me, our new starting quarterback. Me, our new starting running back. Jordan Bradshaw right up the gut, picks up a first down. Gonna give it to Bradshaw again, picks up a couple. So here we go, second down from the 37. Running this option, baby, that might be the key to victory. And we step out of bounds a yard shy. That was not my intention. Third down to one, they don't care about my intentions. We get to pay for it. We get punished for not doing our job again that first down. So on the punt return, Washington, he's fast. And he's strong. He's elusive. He's quick. And he's gone. Touchdown Southern, and Southern's going to take the lead for the first time today. But the homie Sam Jones is a bad boy. He's a bad man. He's a bad grandpa one of these days. I'm just saying, the boy is a beast, okay? The boy is a beast. Every time he touches the football, good things happen. So far, he's touched the ball twice. Two touchdowns via the kickoff, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 14-14 is the score. 28 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Going over the middle. Oh, King, get your hands on the football and catch that thing, baby. It pays the cost to be the boss, okay? Okay, King? So we force a three and out. So we take over. Play fake. Looking downfield. Taking the shot deep to Jones. And Sam Jones can't bring that one and He dropped it. Hopefully that's not a sign of bad things to come. We run the ball with Bradshaw. Hopefully that's not a sign of bad things to come. That's going to do it for the first quarter, though. 14-14 is the score. Third down and 11. Play fake. Looking downfield is Lester. And Darrell Lester picks up the first down. The homie Darrell. Respect Darrell. Darrell Lester. He's going to hand that thing off to Jordan Bradshaw right up the gut. Picks up again the fourth. Second down and six. Watch Lester get busy. Down the sideline. Crosses the 20 and went in. 
Southern Territory inside the red zone. Bullet of a pass. Not only can the boy run, the boy can pass. We have all three freshman receivers like Alabama did back when Tua threw that strike in the bowl game, in the championship game, in the college football playoff championship game. Nothing but freshmen's out there playing receiver for us. And, it, I mean, they 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 looking kind of good, if you ask me. They're looking kind of sweet. And the homie King, he heard me. It pays the cost to be the boss. You pay that cost, you catch that ball. You the king, baby. Number 46, remember it. He's a bad man. First down and 10. Neil throws it. Another interception. Chavis, inside linebacker, true freshman. Dark visor, like Brian Dawkins used to rock back in the day. What up, family? First down and 10. Bradshaw taking it to the right side. Bradshaw gets pushed out of bounds but picks up a fresh set. That 10 move those chains. We can put a chokehold on this game in the early going right here. Looking downfield for Jones, but Long makes the catch. Meet number 19, baby. We got number 7, number 12, and number 19. There's some pretty good receivers if you ask me. I said there's some pretty good receivers if you ask me. On the D-line, nothing but true freshmen, baby. That pass Ugly, ugly, out of bounds. Third down and eight. Neil under some pressure. Throws it, tip and pick. Weber, he was on the team last year doing his thug fizzle down the sideline this year for a touchdown, and we kicking that tail feather. 42 to 14. But then Crossley is trying to cross me up, and that's going to be a good time kick return right there. 2.36 on the clock. Maybe that's the spark that Southern needs. Give me that sack. The homie Nicholas Marshall. Let's call him Nick Marshall. He's a bad man, too. Neil, looking downfield. That's going to be caught. And we get the tackle right there by King. And now it's going to be third down and 10 from the 49. Neil, looking downfield. He's going to get sacked again. Okay? Line him up just to knock him down. Okay? We got the homie Jones back there. First name Sam. Last name Jones. And he's loose again. In Southern Territory again. To the 20 again, the 10 to 5, slow down and cross the goal line, feeling fine. 49 to 14 is not a score, but 24 on the clock. That pass falls incomplete. Balls at the 22 yard line for second down and 10. That pass is caught. Gibson getting loose, getting busy, crosses the 50, and just like that, this could be a touchdown drive. But if we got anything to say about it on defense, it will be a nothing drive, a not a drive. You ain't gonna get a darn thing? Okay, maybe y'all will. Madison makes the catch. They're inside the 10-yard line. Neil looking downfield. Has time. Finds his man. But we shut it down, baby. Second down and goal from the 6-yard line. Neil. He's going to run the little option. They're going to pitch that thing with the receiver to the running back. That was a nifty play. They get on the scoreboard. 49-21. to 21. Lester, let's see what you can do. Deep pass to Sam Jones. Mr. Do-It-All. Mr. Do-It-All. Sam Jones. Kick return. Receiver, beats right there, drops the ball. That's the second drop. That time, at least he got hit when the ball got there. The other one, he was just a clear drop. But, hey, it is what it is. Nobody's perfect. We're all imperfect, so you have a right to make some mistakes, okay? Looking downfield is Lester, and Lester going to tuck it and run. And Lester crosses the 20, picks up the first down, but sitting at the 12-yard line. First down and 10. Lester, looking. He's under pressure again. Getting chased down from behind and pushed out of bounds at the 9. Now, I probably should kick the field goal. We're going to roll the dice, baby. Five seconds on the clock. We catch it with three seconds. I tried to call the timeout. I did not get it. And instead of getting a field goal, we get nothing. 49-21 is the score. From the 30-yard line, Southern takes over. That pass going to be caught. And here come those Jackals. Hopefully they don't do nothing with this drive. They go up the gut, and they might do something with this drive. That hole was massive. My goodness, D-line, play like you playing for a scholarship. Okay, like my goodness gracious, don't take it easy. Don't take your foot off the neck. You feel me? Neil, up the gut, he's going to hand that thing off to Crosley and cross. Crosley ain't crossing nobody up today. Second down and eight now. Crosley gets the carry, and that was a big time block. And that's some good speed in, inside the tent and a great tackle right there by Thomas, our true freshman cornerback, prize possession, two-star recruit, baby, okay? That's a prize possession, two-star recruit. Second down to go from the five, Crossley, trying to make something happen. Owen shuts it down. Owen is a beast as well. Neil, lay it down. We get in there with the sack, and we doing our thug fizzle. 49 to 21, the kick is up. And that's going to be 49 to 24. All right. So here we go. 
Time to run this option, see what we can do. And Lester, he's going to take it himself. That boy got some speed, man. That boy going to pick up the first down. Fumbles, but it goes out of bounds. So move those chains from the 35-yard line. Jordan Bradshaw trying to do something with it. He gets chopped down, but he picks up a gain of about five, maybe six. Second down and four from the 41. Give it to Bradshaw again. I'm liking this team, man. I'm liking this team. Last year's game, it was a nail body. I mean, the game is still close because there's still a bunch of time on the clock. But this time, you can see the talent difference. My goodness gracious, Bradshaw weaving through traffic. We got Dixon back there. He's our backup fullback in our backup tailback. The boy got some speed. Took a big time hit, but he hold on to the ball. Picks up a first down. Running the football again with him again. And, yeah, he's a, um, a junior college transfer. So we only got like a couple years with him. But, hey. I'm going to feed him the rock because the boy got some decent speed. Big time catch right there by Long. Lester looking downfield. Lester still looking. Decides to tuck in a run. Crosses the goal line. We got a quarterback, baby. I said we got a quarterback. Rocking that number two and looking like Cam Newton did. Not at Auburn, but back when he was playing junior college football. That number two, Cam Newton. I'm just saying he resembles him a little bit just because he plays quarterback and wears two. That's really the only reason. Anyways, man, Jack, touchdown. Backwards pass, scoop and score, 63 to 24. We out here doing our thing. Okay, we out here doing our thing. Capital T H thing. Okay, let's go. Crossley, he's crossing me up a little bit. He's having himself a decent game. We hit him anyway, even though he didn't have the ball. That pass, if it was on target to somebody, would have been a touchdown. But hey, they were on target to nobody. Second down and 10, Crossley right up that gut. Gets chopped down, and he picks up a gain of about nine, and that's going to do it for the third quarter of play. So 63-24 still the score. Young, right up the gut. Get Man, meet King. King goes all over the place. He makes tackles, pick sixes. The boy's a beast. Chavis, I mean, I love my linebacker core. My linebacker core is making plays today. I don't know if I'm going to love him in a week from now, but for today, I love him. Madsen makes the catch. Good catch. Drive with the team. First down and 10 from the 20. From the 24, I believe. Yeah, from the 24. They're going to run the football. They're going to get nothing. Okay, we hunt on defense. Second down and nine. It did pick up one yard. Neil looking down. Field. Nearly intercepted. That pass will fall incomplete. They're four for eight on third down. Incompletion. Make that four for nine. Fourth and nine. They're going to go for it. Neil looking. Firing. Caught. Nope, not even caught. It would have been a nice catch, but it wasn't caught, so it can't be a nice catch. We're going to run this thing with Dixon right up the gut. Let my dude 40. I'm not, I like a running back that wears 44. I mean, a fullback that wears 44. It looks clean to me. It might not look clean to you, but it looks clean to me. Second down and 11. Going to give that thing to Bradshaw. He fumbles my football. Bradshaw, don't you fumble my football ever, especially not in the fourth quarter when I'm trying to milk the clock, okay? They're going to bring in their backup quarterback. He almost threw it to us. That would have been a good look for us. Second down and 10. Berg, he's going to try to run it. No, you ain't going to run it on us. Palmer shuts it down. Another true freshman. Third down and 10 from the 41. Taking the shot deep. Incomplete. They will punt the football. We will milk the clock. They about to leave stage left. We get the W. I'm, ha I'm a happy man. Starting off the year 1-0. and oh. I can dig it. I said I can dig it. Kicking off the year 1-0, and oh, your boy can dig it. Can you dig it? I know you can because I can dig it. And we family, baby. We family. So big time win for us. We beat our rival yet again. I don't know how much more we're going to be playing Southern. Now, let me explain. I did change the slider set halfway through the game when the game started to get out of hand. And I think this slider set will give us some more challenging games. I usually do this after year one or two, depending on how good our team is and the type of competition that we are facing. Because my ultimate goal, besides anything, is to entertain you guys that watch my video. That's the main thing. I do not want blowouts. I do not want too many games like this. I'm okay with them happening because, of course, it is a dynasty and these things do happen. Teams do start to separate themselves from competition, okay? It can happen, but I don't want too many blowouts. So I did change the slider sets. I don't know if it registered for this game or not, but halfway through the game, I did do it. This is try to make the game a little more competitive. Or maybe our team is that much more beastly, but Southern, they had a pretty good recruiting class from what I remember. Anyways, next game is going to be a little bit more competitive, hopefully. It's going to be FAU. They're on a one-game losing streak dating back to last year. We're on a three-game winning streak dating back from last year. We beat Southern twice, according to uh, them, and, of course, we beat Alcorn State. Hopefully, we can beat FAU. That would be a good look for us. Anyways, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all stay safe. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love, ha, huh? so.